In this video we have one 3090 from ASUS and the problem here is maybe you can see it already we have a lot of liquid metal on the board we did this repair many times and the solution always is the same removing all the RAM chips on the front side GPU chip, rebo everything, clean the board and solder again on the back side the things are looking better we don't have liquid metal there and also on the sides when the power stages are is no liquid metal uh, these pads we cannot use it anymore because again they are with liquid metal on top so let me switch to the microscope take a quick look and after that we can start working so here we have the board and also the thermal pads so let's start from the GPU area we have the RAM chips uh, from the right side of the GPU as you can see liquid metal is between the RAM chips so under the RAM chips is probably a lot and here also the GPU area here was a complete mess around the GPU and I have already cleaned this area because I don't want this liquid metal to make contact with the capacitors here and uh, they will start to break so the connections here as you can see those three are already missing from the corrosion and I put everything here on the side so we can take care now of this one and then we have more missing capacitors right here right here we have two but this is not a big of a deal we can uh, solder new ones there and everything should be good before starting uh, to remove I want so I want to make some measurements and here we cannot measure the memory rails or PEX rails or 1.8 volt rails it make no sense because everything can be shorted on the board the most important part from here is to measure the 12 volt lines external 3.3 volts and also the data lines reference clock and PEX reset if there is everything okay we can continue so 12 volts it's good reading 3.3 it's also good and we have the first pair of data lines here on the front they are looking good continuing on the back we have the PEX reset and reference clock plus and minus so the readings here are good the only thing I have to check more are the external 8 pins from the power supply and everything looks good there so what is the plan from here uh, removing the thermal pads securing this area around the GPU chip with captain tape or other tape doesn't matter I just want to secure this area so that the liquid metal is not going to spread out on, on the left or on the right side after that we have to remove everything uh, all the RAM chips and the GPU chip so let's start working so I have this paper on the bottom side because I don't want to, to mess up with my bench here and liquid metal and it's a big mess after that so let's start with the thermal pads this one doesn't have liquid metal on it and I should be very careful okay And this one has metal very slowly and we have two more here oh, under the pad also All right, let's take a little bit of alcohol, cleaning the inductors. I also want to clean the capacitors here, but I can see small amount of liquid metal there. So let's switch to the microscope and check there. 
and right here between the inductors I think this is liquid metal and yes it is so this is bad mm. probably the best idea is to remove this inductor and clean the area solder it back again but for now so here we have more so maybe the safest area to, to use the tape is between the capacitors and the inductors because here we have much more metal we have this one removed let's place it on the side and check it and yes we have on this side and also here so maybe I will change this one yeah I will change this inductor okay this area now is looking better let's check the rest nothing here and checking the inductors on the other side the space between the inductors and the capacitors they look they're looking good so these inductors we, we can take here later now let's secure this area so now this looks better the gaps here are closer are closed and no liquid metal can go on left on on right side so now let's start cleaning i'm using alcohol here but this basically uh, does nothing i'm just cleaning the the top surface because we are going to disorder everything so this actually is looking not so bad we have uh, we still have a lot of metal here and but the top the top surface on the ram chips is clean so i can use my machine safely here to pick up the chips so i don't want this liquid metal to go and to stuck on my on my machine so that's why it's important for me to clean the surface first so let's let's start with the soldering process <laughs> And now it's everything removed with the workstation. Here we have the, the GPU and also the 12 RAM chips from the front side. Now we have a lot of liquid metal on the board. The first thing that I want to do is to clean the board first. After that, I will clean the RAM chips because I don't want to use my soldering iron right now because this liquid metal is not so healthy for the soldering tips and they are also expensive so let's start cleaning here is very important when cleaning i don't want to pick uh, each piece liquid metal with my tweezers this will take a whole day and i will use a sponge like this it's a special one and works great for liquid metal i will also use uh, alcohol and i want to scrape I want to push this liquid metal in only one side so not everywhere here on the bottom side we have the the bios chips and also the pci sword so i don't want to push the liquid metal there because these golden pins they will corrode immediately so here on the top and the bottom we have the capacitors very tight area also not a good idea and the only possible way is to push the liquid metal from left to right and uh, we can take it from here so let's start i want to say that uh, a lot of the liquid metal is staying here on the sponge so i can uh, change the sponge and continue
So here the next step is to place the board. So I like to place the board on angle like this. And I want to start from the top with the brush and alcohol. Start to clean the whole area. And here the main purpose of this uh, cleaning is to remove the parts uh, which are from the sponge. And after that we can use the soldering iron on a clean surface there. I can also see that I have one capacitor here with a lot of liquid metal on the paper towel. And this capacitor is probably uh, corroded from the liquid metal. I forget also to tell you that I place uh, tape on the holes here. So no liquids or liquid metal can go on the back side. Now this looks clean to me. I will dry it, place, place the board on the preheater. And using the microscope, we can make a visual in inspection to see how, how clean this is. And we can start working. We are on the bank A1 on the front and the bottom of the GPU chip. So let's begin from here. The area looks clean. And uh, here is clear example what the liquid metal makes with the solder joints. Here probably was a capacitor and it's no longer there. As you can see, this solder joint here is moving, so there is still liquid metal on it. And if I push it a little bit, this cap will fly. So I will keep it there. We will clean this with a soldering iron and uh, make a good solder joint here. Let's continue. Let's check also the capacitor side. We have some small residue here from liquid metal. And I will take care of that later. But looks good. So the RAM chips area, everything cleaned. So the sponge does the job perfect. And the top side, here you can see clearly again, more liquid metal. So this solder pad is kind of, is liquid on it. This is liquid metal on top. And again, with the soldering iron, I have to clean it. And the last four RAM chips area, again, looking good. We don't have missing components here, which is perfect. Let's take a look at the GPU area, especially the corners, because the, the, the liquid metal is always on the corners. And so far looks good. So from here, when the board is cleaned, I have to take care of the chips also because they have liquid metal as well. Uh, I don't want to clean them uh, one by one. I will use one of the ultrasonic cleaners, which I have, and uh, I will change the liquid there. Start the cleaning process. When everything is clean, I will throw the liquid away, change it one more time, clean one more time. And if they are clean enough, so perfectly cleaned, we can start uh, work on the RAM chips and the GPU. I will do that and we can start work on the PCB.
after soldering everything here is the board and how it looks like i have already soldered the two inductors here on the bottom side when the board was still hot and also i saw a small amount of liquid metal in this area here on the bottom side where these two bio chips are and i took them off cleaned everything and soldered the the ram chips back on the board just to be sure that we don't have any liquid metal on the board the next step is to make a measurements after a job like this it's very important to measure the memory before plugging the card in and we have in this case uh, more than 20 28 ohms which is normal also the pex rail 315 perfect and 1.8 256 all right this just these are very good measurements this means that i can plug the cart in and test hopefully we'll have a picture and very good news we have picture from the cart and that's amazing that's amazing so much work and finally the result is good so let's uh, dump the training status of this cart Whoa, whoa, whoa. This looks beautiful. Look at that. This card is like new. This card, the training status of this card is like from the shop. Many working cards don't have a result like this. Every single bank is in perfect condition. Amazing okay so uh maybe let's try to to run a mat mats test because it doesn't matter when the training status is okay uh the mats will probably will almost always be uh also with a good result running mats with 10 megabytes of memory and now when the cart is running uh, I'm the cart is still missing uh, three capacitors on one corner of the PCB and six, six to seven capacitors on the GPU crystal. But uh, now the cart is working and uh, right now here is 10 p.m. I just wanted to finish this cart today. It's too late and I will finish this cart tomorrow. But uh, the, the, the result is here. The cart is working. We will finish the card tomorrow, invoice the customer, and that's it. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe. If you need a repair, check the links in the video description. If you need parts for your projects, uh, check out the GPU fix. We're selling parts also there. And have a great day. Bye, we'll see us in the next one.